fab. Only key. <laughs> <laughs> Airport, I have to fly out to pick up the bike. They don't have the bike that I'm getting in New Jersey. I have to fly out. And so the long journey to India begins to pick up my X440 from Goa, India. It's waiting for me already a few days I'm flying with Emirates. Nikki is coming with me, my daughter. Oh, there she is. <laughs> well, actually, it's the first time. I'm on the Airbus 380. It's my first time. Pretty exciting experience. Plane number one. Similar airplane. Flight number two. Dubai, Bombay. Actually, Mumbai. So after 27 hours from the time I left the house, Finally landed in our destination. Later on today, maybe tomorrow, to pick up. Harley Davidson, Panjim, Goa, India. I bought my American friend. <laughs> Goa, Harley Davidson. That's where I went. Went, flew all the way, 12,000 miles away, I think. I'll check it up on the map. To pick up the bike that you cannot get in America. I'm wearing the clothes I left uh, America. They lost my uh, luggage. I'm wearing the same underwear. Actually, I flipped them over inside out. <laughs> Forgive my look, okay? <laughs> I drop it? Yeah. Okay, I'll be, <laughs> the, I'll be the one dropping it back. And we love that for you and cheer for you. <laughs> okay, Nikki's gonna be my cameraman over here. This is how it goes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start just close up on your hand and then... Okay. Are you guys gonna clap? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are ready, everybody? We're rolling? We're rolling, yes. Yes. Four, three, two, go. No fob, only key. <laughs> <laughs> Take it out for a ride, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Pretty cool. I can tell you, it feels substantial, but you'll see very soon. That's the bike.
Very nice. Just left the dealership less than a mile ago. I had to stop over here. We're running some errands still. Nikki's down there. We're just by the by the beach over here. I've been on the bike maybe maybe one mile. And it's nice. It's actually it's very nice. It gives it gives you a smell, a taste of Harley. The pipe, the exhaust. Obviously, it's not it's not Harley. It's not that V-twin thump that we know. But they actually engineered uh, the exhaust to sound like the same uh, frequency of the Harley of the pipe. So it sounds pretty well, pretty nice actually. It's got nice bottom end torque. Obviously, it's not not even close to any of our bikes that we ride. But even on fourth gear. I'm doing 2,000 uh, uh, 2000 RPM and it chugs, it really, it chugs, it's great. And it feels really light, it's not a heavy bike. Maybe it is heavy, I'm not sure. I don't remember the exact, uh, you know, weight, but it feels, it feels light. It feels very nimble. But that's, obviously that's initial first, like getting onto the bike and riding 10 minutes, that's all. So obviously going to ride the bike the next few days and really get the taste of the bike and tell you exactly how I feel about it. But I think Harley has something very interesting over here. Really cool. Let me tell you, the bike moves. The bike moves. Absolutely. Beautiful. Well, this place is called Coconut, Coconut Lane. We're going. About 40, 50 miles per hour max, and I'm on four third gear, and it bike just pulls. There's no need for me to drop gears. Or... It's got great, great torque, great motor, great torque. It's, cool. it's a light bike. How pretty is that, huh? The bike is so light, so it's easy to flick around. Side to side with these little twisty roads. The torque is great for this side, so it's perfect. Stopping for some gas. Harley, please bring this bike to America so everybody else can enjoy it. It's a winner over here. Bring it over. <laughs>